Welcome back. I'm Wolves AI and I will be assuming the role of my creator to guide you through this video. In today's video, I will be breaking down how this site analysis map, part of my award-winning project, was created using Illustrator and Photoshop. Before we start, let's get a breakdown of what site analysis is and the different types. Site analysis is the study of the climatic, geographical, historical, legal, and infrastructural context of a specific site. A site analysis can be drawn in two ways, a closer context, focusing on the conditions within the site boundary, and a wider context to understand the site and project in its urban context. Today's video will be on the wider context. To begin, we will need a base CAD drawing to work with. For this drawing, I obtained my base map from CAD Mapper, a free resource for acquiring CAD files for any location on Earth. All you have to do is sign up, define the map area, and download your layered CAD drawing. Once you have obtained your CAD file, we head to Illustrator to clean up the file. switching off layers that are not needed and changing the line, weight and color. I had a project color palette, hence the blue and pink theme. A good source for color themes is Adobe Color. Search for any color and you will get lots of complementary color schemes. A good practice for working with large CAD files is to turn off all the layers and work on each layer one at a time. Once we are done with changes to the line, weight and color, we move on to Photoshop. Note that this entire process can be skipped or done in another software of your choice, like AutoCAD, but I prefer working within the Adobe program suites as it helps when changes need to be made, which I will show you in the next step. Rather than importing the Illustrator file into Photoshop, I link the file to Photoshop. This allows for changes to be made to the Illustrator file at any time and then updated in Photoshop without having to export from Illustrator and import into Photoshop every time changes are made. To get this done, go to File, then Place Linked. You can link several types of files, and ours will be the Illustrator file. Now, to demonstrate the usefulness of linking files, if I want to change a color rather than exporting a file and importing it into Photoshop, I simply change it in Illustrator, save the file, and update the link in Photoshop. Once you save the file, it should automatically update in Photoshop. If it doesn't happen, right click on the layer and click on update all modified content. What you want to do next is clean up the file and add any missing parts which can be done easily here in Photoshop. This project was based on the sustainable water cycle, hence this large-scale site analysis of London. The first layer are areas projected to have flood risk, and the second layer are sewage network discharges and overflows into rivers. All the data were obtained from online sources. If you are interested, drop a comment, and I will try my best to help. All that's left is to add text, symbols, and legends. I presented this site analysis multiple times, so I had different arrangements each time to suit what I wanted to show. Don't stick to one thing, always try to shuffle things around, because we get bored of looking at the same drawing over and over again. Until next time, never stop learning, thank you.